In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best run defense in Madden 23 for under center base runs. These are runs where you kind of know that the run is coming and you want to stop it. That's the simplest format of a run defense. And we're going to show you how to do that in this video. Now, we're in the 46 playbook. 46 playbook is, I think, one of the better defensive playbooks this year. It has the nickel over formation, which is what our run defense is going to be based out of. If you want to get full access to my nickel over defense, of ebook the link is down in the description it's only ten dollars just join the patreon um, you can join the patreon at the link in the description it's only 10 bucks to sign up and it gets you access to all of our ebooks and all our updates throughout the season so if you want to become a patreon member you get access to everything while your membership is active and like i said the link is down below all right guys so i wanted to talk about just some under center runs and just kind of give you um, kind of an update i think on what's the best run defense in the game and uh, again, if you want to get the rest of the ebook, the links in the description, Nickel Over is still really, really, really good. Um, and I actually have kind of gone back to it in a lot of ways for a lot of different reasons. So this defense is super powerful. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do is I like to put safeties at linebacker. If they're literally running the ball every single play, put linebackers here. Okay. It will help in the run a little bit. But if they're going to pass, like, it's always better to have better, um, you know, pass defenders on the field. So that's what we're going to go with. Um, so anyway, do something like this. Now, the key to stopping the run, in my opinion, is we are going to turn auto flip. We're going to turn our zone coverage to match. We're going to turn this off. Okay. And it's a specific defense in nickel over that is really good without auto flip on. It's this LB blitz one. So what this is, is in your um, in your screen here, this guy right here is the guy that you're going to be using um, to try to slow down the run. So what I like to do is put a safety there, um, you know, in, in my, that's where I put like Camp Chancellor or something like that. Okay, so LB Blitz 1, and the setup is really simple. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pinch our uh, linebackers. We're going to spread our defensive line, crash our defensive line down. And then what I like to do is simply, um, I mean, this is literally all you needed, uh, and you'll stop the run. Literally, this is it. And what you'll notice is we're just going to run straight down, and you're going to see that the natural guy, um, the natural edge that we've created by spreading the defensive line is going to be significantly helpful. Now, you can also show blitz. If you take a look at the show blitz look, um, it's just going to bring people down to the line of scrimmage. It's going to make it harder to run outside. And you see the linebackers are going to shoot right through and stop the run. Really simple. So we're able to stop stretch. We're able to stop stop uh, stretch to the left, stretch to the right. Now, if they want to run the ball down the middle, this is really good against inside runs. As you see right there, really good against inside runs. That's an inside run to the right. Now I'm going to show you an inside run to the left. And again, the setup, spread your line, pinch your linebackers, and then you're going to show blitz. Okay? And you'll see right here. You're getting that really glitchy little loop in from that defensive tackle. Super effective this year. And then uh, we'll show you a couple other runs here. So Power O, if they run Power O, what I like to do against Power O, again, same kind of thing. The basic thing we're going to do is, and you want to kind of, I, my recommendation would be to leave this guy in the zone, but you want to just run straight down. Like literally just run straight, straight through the center uh, I think is the best thing that you can do. So just run straight down, boom, there's power. Okay, and you can do this with stretch and all those other runs. Now, another tip to stopping the run is when they snap the ball to click your right joystick in a couple of times, that's going to tell everybody, hey, he's running the ball, you know, so go, guard, go get the run, right? So um, just click your right joystick in and while you're running down and you'll be seeing that they will actually like kind of come back and in, into play some of these guys that are in coverage they'll play a lot better so again here just boom and i mean you see just i mean i don't think he's gotten over one or two yards uh a carry okay so um that's power row right and left and now i'm going to show you like more of a zone weak run duo um duo i think is actually a pretty good run this year now, if they're really running the ball and you you know it's a run, you can blitz your linebackers uh, after you crash that after you crash your line down, and then what you can do is you know basically take these defensive ends 
and you can man them up on whoever. Like what I like to do is man them up. Um, whoops, uh, man them up on the running backs. So something like this. Uh, and then what you'll see here with the linebackers is, you know, you're gonna get this, try to contain them a little bit. And the beauty of this right here is it's a little better for like that duo run, that off tackle stuff, because you get that right there. But again, I'm not like this is this defense is simple enough. Like normally, people are gonna get out of running if you can stop kind of the basic stretch dive power o. Uh, you see right there, able to stop that, and then we'll show you the duo uh, style to the left. And again, you just see how you have these corners on the edges, it's just super valuable. What I also like about this defense, I have a designated user. I think that is super underrated. Like I have a designated user in this defense, so it's clear cut who I'm supposed to use it. And right there, it should have been a five yard loss. I just missed the tackle. Um, you know, but you see how good this is. I mean, it's super simple. And if you want to contain, uh, I will say containing is good this year for the run. But you see, boom, just run through the gap and, you know, get the stop. So Steven's super good. Now, if they pass the ball, you're not, not all hope is lost, right? Um, you can manually back that guy on the right side up if you want. But if they, if they pass the ball, I'll show you here, go to something like this. So if they pass the ball, you're going to see. You know, let's fix this here real quick. Um, you know, not all hopes lost. We're main coverage. You're lurking. You're going to get great sheds, potentially get pressure. So you have a really good defense if they run or if they pass, um, especially out of the under center style. This under center, like, is not very good this year. Um, there's a couple formations that are decent, but it's, it's definitely not, like, the move, in my opinion. If you're trying to have the best offense possible, like under center has some significant disadvantages. One of them being the fact that they're really gonna struggle to run the ball if you run something like this. And then if you know what you're doing with nickel over, you can send some heat with this right here. Because the running back, because the running back's not offset like he normally is, like in shotgun, he'd be offset. Because the running back's not offset, literally all I have to do is stand in the middle here, and we're gonna send both linebackers now, and you're gonna see we're gonna screen every time so that's part of what makes under center like not really usable in my opinion but guys that's the best run defense in madden thanks for watching the video if you want to learn more about the nickel over defense make sure to join the patreon the link to sign up for that is going to be in the description thanks for watching the video and we hope to see you over at the patreon page